Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to everyone's favorite little supermarket. Today, we're back out in Supermarket Sim, and I'm excited because a new update has come out. Uh, I actually fired all my employees because I'm poor. Uh, as you can see, I got $62 to my name. So yeah, so I'm going to be doing some cashiering now, but we have restockers in the game now, which is going to be a huge benefit. Customers waiting. Why are you over there? I'm over here, lady. Oh my God. All right, so I guess we're going over to this one. So I'm going to have to manage both of these cashiers for the time being. We'll, we should earn quite a bit of money here. And I'm going to need that money so I can hire some more employees because that's kind of the point. But yeah, uh, stocking hasn't been going so well. As you can see, my store isn't fully stocked. But what's even worse is my storage unit. I'm kind of buying a little too much. So I want to hire that guy as quickly as possible because I don't, I don't want to deal with that anymore. Okay, and that's the kind that I like a lot of items. Uh, some of these have been up to like $60, $70, which is really nice. I'm going to need some more of those, please, so we can get some employees pretty quickly here. I should be able to afford one by now. All right, so we've got 285 I can indeed hire the cashier, so we're going to do that. And what do we actually need? I need to buy a rack for the restocker. All right, and a small rack is $200, so I'm assuming we can add this to the cart right now. We may as well do that. Um, I'm assuming I have to put the things on the rack and then maybe he'll stock it. I don't know. Uh, the stocking situation is supposed to be much better, though, so we'll unbox this. I am definitely not going to be able to put this down in here, so we'll rebox it. <laughs> okay, and there we go. So do I just put this on here? Yes. And then I'm assuming they'll auto stock it. Assuming we need some of that stock. So we actually are going to need a pretty big storage area here. All I have is toilet paper right now. As you can see, we got some Nutella. But yeah, it looks like each small rack's only going to hold six boxes. I can't seem to put... Oh, I can actually put some down there. Okay, so uh, actually these can hold quite a bit. So that's not too bad. Can I fit up top? No, I don't. I, th I think that's it. All right, I'm definitely going to start putting these racks in the middle of the store. What is going on with my toilet paper? Oh, it stacks that way? That's just annoying. They don't even fit on the shelf. Uh, I'm going to use this whole rack for toilet paper only because, uh, well, as you can see, they don't hold much. So, yeah, we're going to need a whole rack of this or we're just going to have to restock it all the time. That being said, we have a stalker or we're going to have a stalker soon here. So we should probably just do that. Uh, let's actually hire that guy and see how that works. Okay, so we'll hire and we have a stalker. I don't know where he is. Uh, it is the end of the day, though, so he might start tomorrow. Just going to cash out the rest of these guys and then we'll call it a day. I think I see. Yes, we got a box guy coming in. So does he stock? Yes, he stocks anything that I'm assuming I put in an area because that that shelf at the bottom was empty and he actually put it there. So that's pretty cool. Holy crap, dude. Are you just going to clean everything in the, in the entire world? What is this? Oh my God, this is amazing. Dude, what is wrong with you? I mean, I'm not complaining. Oh, that was only $65. I thought that'd be a lot more. Oh my God, look at my stalker. I love this. Yes, do all the dirty work for me. Okay, so that is everything. I just want to see how this stalker works. Is he taking anything off the ground? No, it's all the shelving units. So as long as I have one of everything on the shelves, we should be good. So unfortunately, I still need to kind of stock, but at least I don't need to really think about it. I just need to throw everything on these racks. I wonder if I can hire somebody to do that. My ultimate goal is to not work at all. Uh, seems to be that he keeps everything, yes, uh, making sense as well, which is great. Is he going to put that back? Oh my god, I thought I was worried he'd just put things anywhere, for example here, but he seems smart enough to know that I want these in certain areas. Oh, this is great. This is much better than I expected. All right, and we'll finish the day, see how we did today. Uh, products not found, seven. I'm assuming that was the toilet paper. All right, and now I can really just focus on making sure these prices are all good. So shampoo is down and a lot of things are up. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I didn't want to stare at your butt, but uh, you kind of made me. <laughs> he just came and did one. What a committed worker. I love him. And when he's done, he just stands outside waiting for more to do. So I'm, guess, I'm guessing this is all stock that we already have. So now by quick glance, I can see I definitely need spaghetti. So we'll add two of those. What else do I need? Some susu. And yeah, I guess this is all I have to do now is bring everything over here. The one thing I have to worry about is not stocking too much of one thing because that's going to take all my shelves. But now he should do all the annoying parts. And all I need to do is just transfer all these boxes here. It's too bad he, he, he wouldn't do this, though. That would be great. My first $100 order. It's all thanks to those things over there, the clean dishes or whatever they are. 63 cents, okay. Ah, oh, that feels good. We're earning some serious cash now. Can you stop? I want to go restock everything. All right, things are going much better now. Working as a stalker with him because it's hard to keep up. Wow, we're down to two spaghetti. 
Uh, so this is kind of nice. At night, I can figure out what exactly we need left. But yeah, we're pretty low stock of everything. So spaghetti is going to be a big one. All right, so we'll worry about restocking in the, in the morning time. I'm just going to let this guy finish up so I don't lose these deals. All right, let's see how we did today. Did we have any complaints? Satisfy customers, 39. Supply cost was only 544 and we earned $1,800. This is going much better. And the great thing about uh, the start of the day is I can take my time. Only thing that has changed is cleaner is one up. Toot prep. What is toot prep? Oh, it's this right here. So we don't have to worry about any of the other prices, I'm assuming. And we just got to worry about restocking now. So I'm going to buy this first order. I don't know why you can't buy late at night. That would be nice, but uh, whatever. Okay, so you can stack these boxes too. So it's not one. Why do I keep doing this? It's not one per shelf. Uh, the size of the boxes dictate how many you can hold. So that's actually pretty cool. Oh, the products do need to be this, the same though. Okay, so that's kind of lame. Wait, what the hell is behind my thing? What? Locked. How, what? What is that? That door was not there when I originally placed the shelf. So I wonder if we can actually move the stocking room over to the actual store. That's pretty cool. Can you hurry up? All right, it's looking pretty good. We're not fully stocked, but it should be more than enough for today. So what I want to do next is maybe buy some more products. Well, first of all, I should maybe pay my bills. Not that they're expensive, but it is kind of annoying that I have to pay these every day. So we're down to $1,000. All right, so we're going to purchase one more product license. I guess we'll just work our way up here. These ones are pretty cheap, but that's going to unlock a lot more liquids, it looks like. So we'll purchase that. We got cola, zap soda, bio juice. So basically, we're probably going to need another um, freezer or maybe two, or I guess uh, refrigerator technically. All right, so I can buy one for right now. We might have to wait to buy the next one. Oh, yeah, I should probably check out. Uh, I should also purchase these products, and they should be at the bottom, right? Yep. All right, I can't even afford everything, but we'll purchase that for right now. We still need to purchase one more product, and we're getting to the point where I'm going to have to rearrange my store as well. All right, good enough for right now. I know it's just on the all on the outside walls, but uh, I do have a plan for this later. But for right now, this is good. I'm just going to open up and we'll stock as we go here. I actually want to see what happens if I've never placed these. Does he do anything? I think he has to wait for me to choose where these things go. So I guess we'll do juice here. And then we'll get some zap soda. We're going to need to at least buy two more fridges, I believe. So quite a bit here. All right. I really want to see if we can open up that door. So we're at about $1,000 now. Today's been pretty good. We're going to upgrade. And please tell me this door is... Why would you go this way? Was there not a light in here, by the way? This is ridiculous. Okay, well, at least we got more storage. But uh, I don't know how the hell we're going to get that door up unlocked okay a little bit of an update i think i am pretty much stocked with my six new items uh yeah i'm getting a little overwhelmed as you can see my stocking room's looking nice though we got a bunch of extra stock i've been buying like five to ten of every item and just stocking the rest of it because the stalker is obviously going to do the hard part for me uh, so yeah, I didn't know I needed to have this milk on a counter, so I had to rebuy uh, a new shelving unit. That means we have one extra space over here, but yeah, we got our soda compartments, our juice compartment. Looks like we are restocking eggs right now, and as you can see, we're not fully stocked, but it's looking pretty nice in here. I am going to need some new Koyos and some Jaja Vevel uh, when I earn a bit more money. I am broke once again, so we got to open up and start our day. To unlock another license, we have one more cheap license, and then they get pretty pricey and pretty rapidly pricey, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping to get as many products as possible. Uh, the other goal is to get to level 20. That means I get two cashiers. Okay, and we did end off with almost $2,000. And as you can see, I am keeping up with stock. Thank God for this stalker. Mind you, I'm getting quite a big stock, as you can see. But the great thing about this game is it seems like all items have at least a little bit of demand. So they're going to be sold sooner or later. So yeah, with $1,800, what do we want to do next? I already have a purchase order for some new things. I want to get some more racks. So we'll wait for that. Let's just finish the day once my slow cashier is done. Uh, I do have to help him from time to time because he's extremely slow. I wish they got better the more they worked because he is very, very slow. One thing we are running into an issue with is cashier demand. So, yeah, I do have to get that second cashier. I really hope we can get to level 27 or sorry, 20 pretty quickly here. All right. Flower is down. Soda is up. Wow. Flower is way down. That's a bit of a bummer. That was a good payday for me with this price. $7 for a peg of flour. No, thanks. Okay. By quick glance. Again, my most demand item is this dark roast coffee. I just, I'm, I'm honestly may as well buy 10 of those because I go through it so quick and it doesn't really take up too much space, but that is $626 right there. 
And we have $626 left. All right, and yeah, I'm gonna need those new racks sooner or later. I do like that you can stack the same item at the same place, though. I grabbed the wrong item here. I'll just help the guy out a little bit. All right, so yeah, that one shelf alone is holding six boxes with 48 bags of coffee. Not bad. Let's get some more shelves in here. And we can have maybe one or two more shelves, and then we're gonna run into some major issues for space. So I do wanna make sure we're emptying out these things, too. All right, and everything else is looking pretty good, so we may as well open up. I don't have much money anyways. I'm really hoping to expand out to six more items today. It looks like I can keep up now. And yeah, the more items we have, the more profit we are going to make. So I think I need 750 for that. Uh, actually, we have uh, bills to pay first. I have paid off my loan, so I can get a loan again. Oh, actually, I have no payments because I paid off my loans, I guess. So I thought I had to pay rent as well. I guess I'm mistaken with that. Never mind. It's on a different tab. I knew there was bills, so we pay those off. And yeah, we're only at $400. And we need... Oh, we only need $550 for the next one. So we'll probably do that because uh, I don't think I need to expand out this place anytime soon. And we'll just kind of mentally prep for this. So we need, it looks like it's going to be an ordinary shelf that we need. We need multiple shelves. It looks like at least three. We already have one area here. So I'm going to need to buy actually three more shelves anyways. All right, still pretty early in the day. I have prepped my shelves. Again, this is temporary placement, but uh, I wanted to make sure I could stock these things. So I need, I have about 300 extra dollars. We will buy the candy package here, and there we go. We get a bunch of candy now. Oh, God, I'm going to get overwhelmed now. It's just the buying process is getting harder and harder with how big this list is becoming. But, yeah, they're all at the bottom, so I'll just buy one of each for right now. Actually, it looks like we can buy at least two of each, so I want to fill up the shelving units so the guy knows to stock these items at their specific locations. So, there we go. That should be the majority of my money. And we have a bunch of candy now. And I'll just put one on every shelf and dictate the price. And then the stalker should do all the hard stuff later. I didn't know I could do that. I could actually pull them off. That's cool. All right. Surprise, surprise. The yogurt needs to be in a fridge. So, we'll put that here. We're going to have a lot of yogurt because the fridges hold five shelves worth. Looks like the box holds quite a bit of yogurt, though. That could be a good seller. Dude, my store is getting so chaotic. There is just people everywhere. Checkouts are indeed full. I'm so Look at how many people are in my store. I'm sorry. I can only do one thing at a time. I have to stock these things. All right, so I think that is all the new items. I didn't need the extra shelf because one went into the fridge. So I do have a spare shelf that I may as well just get rid of for right now. You can sell these things. So you know what? Screw it. I'll sell it. And I think that... Oh, that only gave me half of the money back. I shouldn't have did that because I'm going to need it sooner or later anyways. But oh well. All right. And tomorrow we're going to restock. And I have an idea of hopefully how to make this store a little more lucrative. We'll see what happens here once I set this place up. Oh, God. Oh, what, oh, what did I do? What? How, how did I break the game? Stop. Why is my cashier out here? I. You know, okay. So what happened? Uh, I, stop. All right. Box up. That's that's boxed up, I guess. Uh, okay, there we go. No, stop. Uh, just place that. Um, that's not good. So yeah, I tried to move the cashier while the guy was there, and it broke everything. I'm scared to touch this now. I have another cashier, so this might be here for a while. I, I can't actually grab it. Oh my god. I mean, can we have an outdoor cashier? Is is that a thing? I mean, I still have one, so we'll put this one out over here. That one I can place. Where did my cashier go? <laughs> What? All right, well, he's still there, but he's not there. So if I fire... Oh, God damn, I gotta spend $100 now. But if I fire him and hire him... Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> Wait. What happens now? Sir, get in the freaking store. Oh, God, how did I do that? How did... Oh, are they gonna come outside? Because that's not a bad idea. All right, I do want to do something anyways and not break the game like that. As I said, I want to try and design a maze. So as my stalker is stocking all these shelves, we're going to see if we can actually design some sort of maze here. I don't know if this is going to work or not because you actually do need to have some space for these guys to grab items. And they might just walk right through these. I have no idea. But obviously, if they see more items... They're going to buy more, right? So we're going to force them to look at every item in this freaking store. Uh, I don't know the best way to do this. This is the one area where they're, they're tech, they technically can walk through, I think. Oh, damn it. And even if I use these, I think, yeah, they can still slide through here. I think they made it impossible for it to work like this. Unless I go, they can still slide through, right? 
Oh, just, just let me force people to buy all my items. So yeah, I don't think this is actually going to work, but we'll see what happens. All right, I think I have figured out a way to ensure there is no cheating. Welcome to my office, by the way. It's... <laughs> It's in the middle of the store. So now they... Oh, you can still slide it, you jerks. They better not be able to slide it. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to wedge this in here. I guess I could put something else here and truly wedge that in so they cannot go this way. Okay, I can't get it perfectly, but I don't think anybody's going to be able to get through now. Because, yeah, I cannot move that. I can move it a bit, but I am I'm stuck there now. I do not want to break the game. I've already broken it enough. Look at this. They are forced to look at everything. Uh, I don't think they can get through here. Come to my cashier. Can I actually get in here? I can. Ha uh oh. Uh, can I leave? Okay, I I can jump out. So they come to the cashier, and then they have no choice but to leave this way as well. So they are looking at every item. Assuming this guy doesn't actually check out people, which I have no idea if they will or not. Anyways, my maze store is open. Let's see if people buy a lot more items now. And I just have to make sure stock is looking pretty good, as you can see. Looks like we do need some master flower, so we'll buy that. And some Mr. Clean as well. Hello! My first customer! I was really hoping you'd be picking up a lot more items. It seems to be working, though. They are forced to look at everything. And are they going outside or not to check out? I have no idea. Okay, seriously, I, I did all this and all you buy is three things of orange juice? This is not going as planned, my dude. Where where where, where are you going? You didn't, you didn't check out. Are you actually checking? Where are you going? What on earth is going on? Oh, I've really broken the game, haven't I? You're supposed to be checking out right now, aren't you? Yet you're kind of in my storage area. Okay, you know what? I'm not mad about that. The clean dishes are worth a, a fortune. $71 with that one. This, I might be on to something with this strategy, but they're not buying as much as I thought, if I'm honest. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Forcing them to buy everything. And that somehow is less than the other freaking one I think that I did. There we go. Yeah, you know what? I might be onto something here, honestly. And just a crap load of toilet paper. Thank you very much. That's worth quite a bit. $81. That's the biggest one yet, I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is definitely working. You can't tell me this isn't working. Look at that. That's two in a row major ones. And exact change. How do you do that? Look at this. I think it actually is working. That or I'm just getting very lucky with these purchases. Because every now and then, there's like one guy who buys one thing of cheese or something. It's not happening anymore. Because they're forced to stare at everything. And they'll buy it sooner or later. Oh, my God. Oh, this is great. This is... Uh, I might have stocking issues now, though. Yeah, everyone's buying so much. Did this actually work? Or am I just getting absurdly lucky? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This might be my biggest one. Seeing three clean dishes. 120. Exact change? Of course it is. Thank you, sir. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can't believe this actually kind of works. What the hell are you doing with two things of Nutella? And that's it. All right, so a little bit of an anticlimactic ender. I just want to go outside real quick now that I dealt with everybody. Make sure we're doing okay outside. Yeah, it seems to be there was just one customer that is broken and he hasn't gotten any more. So uh, I hope I can fix this because I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. All right, and just waiting for the final few to get through my store. I think it's safe to say uh, that was a pretty good day. We're over $2,000. I think that was my most successful day. Who gets four boxes of rice? Some of these people are so weird. But yeah, we definitely had... Maybe it's just pure luck. We definitely had more orders with big purchases like this one. So I don't know if this is actually working or not, but it definitely seems to be. Okay, and I think that is everybody. So almost $2,500 today. It looks like stocks are quite low. Actually, we got two more to do. God, you guys are taking forever to get through my store. I guess that's the damn point. Who are you waiting for? This guy? Why does he get to be in the front? One cent change. There you go, buddy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You were worth the wait, good sir. Might be another $100. It is. And $88 and change. Okay, chill out, buddy. Jeez. And the final one, it's buying a lot of cleaner. Just a lot of cleaner. $52, not bad. 69 cents back. Nice. And there you go. What a day. $2,500. Uh, let's see how we did. We did 38 customers, which is pretty comparable. Honestly, I don't know if that was better or not, but I just loved how much everybody seemed to be buying. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up this episode of Supermarket Simulator here because I got a bit of a problem. I don't know what I'm going to do about this guy. Um, So might need to figure that one out for the next one because I would rather not have to do the cashiering myself. 
But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. Super awesome that we have a stalker now in this game. I, I do know the developer is rapidly updating this game. So hopefully there's some more employees we can get. Maybe some purchasers would be nice. So I could literally just sit here and collect money. That would be great. And screw around with my customers like I did today. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you. In the next one. Hey there. Before you go, I just wanted to let you know about my second channel, Gast. If you're missing my multiplayer shenanigans, then please consider checking it out. Scan the QR code or copy the link down below. Okay, bye. Captain! It's too bizarre. Why am I bizarre? What's wrong? That face is too it's it's too messed. Here, put the smiler on. Somebody show him. Up here. Oh my God. No, I'm keeping it.